too. We're in the bathroom. Um, don't get ahead of me. Do you notice anything different? <laughs> Here's what I learned with... No, 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 no. I got a speaker and I shouldn't have because you think you can talk, but you can't because I'm talking. So you just have to... So you just, you just have to be my husband, okay? You're just the husband, okay? Honey, um, do you notice anything different? Yes. <laughs> oh, good. What? You changed your hair color. <laughs> So you don't like my hair. <laughs> I thought you liked my hair. Why would I change my, I mean, so what's wrong with my hair color? You think it needs changing? I mean, I thought you, I th women, this is what you do. Watch, you watched it, right? It's what you do. It's sick. And it's cruel and it's mean and it's a setup. Ladies, you asking a man, does he notice anything different, is like him taking you into the garage, opening up the hood of the car, and saying, do you notice anything different? <laughs> now, women, I want you to watch what's going to happen. Men, honest time. How many men in here are willing to answer anything to this question as long as you stay out of trouble? How many of you are even willing to be led to the right answer as long as she's not angry? All right, ladies, let's call what I, let's do what I call grown-up talk. How about if we did this? Hi, Randy, I just got a new dress and I think it makes me look kind of cute and sexy. What do you think? Oh, absolutely. Women, I know, you, I know women, you want compliments. Just tell them what to say, okay? <laughs> They're willing to say it. You just got to tell them what to say. All right, question number two. Women, never ask a man in your life again. Again, we're getting ready to go out. Um, do you think that this dress kind of makes me look big? No. You are being so sweet, and I appreciate it. But I really need the honest because I, I'm going out tonight. So be as honest as you can. Do you think, women, shame on you. Men, do not fall for that. She does not want the honest truth. She can't handle the honest truth. And women, shame on you. Don't you ever ask a man in your life again about your weight. You have a scale. Get on it. If the number's high, the butt is big. They go together, okay? You do not have to involve him at all. Bless his heart, he's just trying to act like he doesn't see it growing, okay? Question three, what's your favorite sports team? The Marlins. Florida baseball. Okay. Florida Marlins baseball. We are married. You have a 100-inch screen flat TV. You have a remote control, a cool drink, a box of snacks, a second remote. The Marlins are about to make the most amazing play in the history of mankind, and you're going to see it in real time. And this is going to be such an amazing play that it will change the nature of baseball forever. <laughs> it's going to happen in about three seconds, and you're going to see it as it happens. Question number three, never ask a man in your life again. So what you thinking? <laughs> Women, it's about timing. With men, it's about timing. That's why they have halftime, okay? <laughs> Question four. We're in the Bahamas. We've had the most absolutely wonderfully romantic weekend. Question four. Honey, do you think that woman is prettier than me? <laughs> she's prettier than you. You're the one that picked her out. If you want to know to that question, pick out someone 80, not a 23-year-old. 
And men, there's only one right answer to this. I know the answer. What woman? <laughs> the score is now Randy won me three. Yay! Okay. And question number five, last one, never to ask a man in your life again. You've had a horrible day at work, worst day that you've ever had in your life. Do you have a favorite chair or couch at home that you like to relax on? Yes. What color is it? Black. Black. Ebony. We call it ebony. Okay. So, <laughs> or maybe charcoal. It could be either one, but there's a difference. So, you have walked in from your worst day at work. All you want to do is get on that couch and relax. I intercept you. Question number five. Honey, what's wrong? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing? Nothing? I mean, something's wrong, Randy. I know you. I could tell the moment you walked in. I mean, you, what's, is, did you have a bad day at work? Yes, I had a bad day at work. Oh. oh, you had a bad day at work. Yeah, what about my day, Randy? What about my day? I mean, at, at least your day is over. You know, my day isn't over because now I have homework and baths and my day is never over. And you know what our problem is, Randy? Okay, I'll tell you. <laughs> Randy, we don't talk anymore. We don't communicate. You don't share with me. Where do you see our marriage in 10 years? You have no idea. Never mind. Just go. Really, just go. Really. Oh, 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 oh. What? You just walked away? I can't believe you just walked away? We are in the middle of one of the most important discussions in our relationship. And you just, you know, I wish I could walk away. I wish every time I didn't want something, I could walk away. Nice try. <laughs> Randy, do you have any idea what I need? No. Okay. <laughs> Let me tell you, Randy, I don't need your patronizing. I don't need you to fix everything. Sometimes, Randy, sometimes I just need a hug. Oh, not because I asked for it, no. I have to ask for it? Give him a hand. Thank you very much.